Hello and welcome to another Warhammer 40k video from JMP Miniatures. So this time I'm painting a Dune Crawler from Adeptus Mechanicus and I'm starting off here with a grey primer from Vallejo and I'm just using this through an airbrush. The first colour I'm going to start base coating with is Bone White from Vallejo. I'm just airbrushing this over the areas that I want to be the lighter bone colour and leaving those that are going to be red. And then for the red areas, I'm using Scarlet Red from Vallejo and it's the same process, I'm just airbrushing this over the red areas. Now that the red's on, I'm going to go back and carefully airbrush in some bone white areas where I wanted bone white to be on the cabin. Uh, this does go on the red a little bit but I touch it up later with a paintbrush. Now moving on to some shades, the first shade I'm going to use is a mix, it's three parts brown ink to one part black ink from Vallejo, this is mixed with equal parts water and I'm just applying this to all the red areas on the model. And then for the areas that I used bone white with, I'm using straight brown ink from Vallejo. This is also mixed with equal parts water. Then, to bring out some details on the cabin area, I'm using Mephiston Red from Citadel and I'm giving this a light dry brush over the whole cabin area, all the red parts of the model are getting a dry brush with this colour. And then to bring out even more details, I'm going in with Evil Sun Scarlet from Citadel. It's the same process, this is just getting a light dry brush over all the red areas. To make the more prominent edges stand out, I go ahead and edge highlight those with Evil Sun Scarlet. As you can see, I use the edge of the brush and you can make a mistake and quickly rub it off with your finger. Uh, that's definitely possible. And then to highlight these edges even further I'm going in with Wild Rider Red from Citadel and it's the same process with the edge highlight, I'm just not doing as many of the edges. To bring the details out on the bone white areas I'm using bone white again but with a dry brush this time and I'm just passing over all those main areas. So working on the bottom half of the model now, I'm base coating some metal areas with gun metal from Vallejo and this is all the joints and all the pistons of the legs.
Once that previous metal colour has dry, I'm going in with another wash and this is black ink from Vallejo and this again is watered down equal parts water and this is just applied over all those metal areas we've just painted. For the decoration on the armour plates, I'm using Brassy Brass from Vallejo and I'm just base coating all those decorative areas. The areas are then given a shade with Reichland Flesh Shade from Citadel. And then the armour plates are dry brushed with Evil Sun Scarlet just to give those a little highlight. Next up, I'm edge highlighting the piston and metal areas with Runefang Steel from Citadel. I go ahead and edge highlight all those decorative brass areas with the same Runefang Steel. The little pipes on the bottom of each angle is painted with black from Vallejo. Now that the leg assembly is finished, I'm going to start preparing the base for the legs to be glued onto. So for this, I'm painting the whole base with Terra Earth from Vallejo. And then once the base is painted with that paint, I'm going to go ahead and mix up a pigment here. So it's a rust pigment and I'm just going to add some water to this to get it flowing right. Uh, there's no right or wrong way to do this, it's just keep adding water till you're happy with the consistency. I want mine quite thin because I'm adding it all over the base. So I'm just using an old brush here and I'm just going to apply it in a range fashion. I'm not going about it in any particular way, I'm just adding it in some shadowed areas. Once that pigment's fully dried, I'm using some super glue here and I'm just putting it on the bottom of each peg for the model to be glued straight onto the base. So, the, now the only thing left to do is the cabin part of the model. Uh, so, I'm starting here with a shade of Agrax uh, shade and I'm carefully just dropping this in some areas, some recesses that I, I want to be a bit darker. I also want to paint a white stripe down the mid, uh, the front of the cabin. So to do this I'm using Tamiya tape. Now this is a waterproof style of masking tape. It's a little bit more effective than masking tape though. And I'm just using a rubber tool there just to kind of press that down firmly. Now this tape's great because it doesn't let any of the paint past it. If you've pushed it down firmly enough. So I'm just painting some ceramite white here from Citadel. I think I give this about four to five coats and they're all watered down so it doesn't go on too thick. So now that white stretch is completed, I'm going to go ahead and start base coating some other areas. But to start off, I'm going to base coat the gun with black from Vallejo. I then move on to all the metal areas with gun metal from Vallejo. This includes a lot of the ladders, the poles that run around the sides um, and parts of the weapon as well. So now the same process as what we did on the legs, I'm going to start washing this with the ink from Vallejo, it's black ink and this is watered down one part water to one part ink. And this is just going over all those metal areas, very similar to what we did with the pistons. There's a few lenses on the front of the model, so for this I'm using electric blue from Vallejo. I'm just painting in all these lenses. They're then given a shade from Citadel, Drakenhof Nightshade. This is just aimed around the recess of each lens.
The Skatari Gunner has his cloak base coated in Vallejo's flat red. And now that wash is dry, I'm going to go ahead and edge highlight all the metal areas with Runefang Steel from Citadel. The weapon is given a coat of brassy brass over some of the raised areas. I've left that electric blue in the recesses. To give this Guitari's cloak some shading, I'm going to go ahead and add a coat of Raglan Flesh Shade from Citadel. And then I start painting the Adeptus Mechanicus symbol uh, on the front of the gun. So this is actually inverted as the camera inverted. So in real life this is backwards. If you're unsure how to paint these symbols it's easy enough to just look on the box art and you can see. Just remember this one's backwards to what you see in real life. So it's just black and white on the uh, separate parts of the cog and skull. And then I go ahead and add a bit of a black ink wash into the recess there. That's watered down with two parts water to one part ink, so it's, it's fairly watered down that ink. Now I want to apply some transfers to the model. Uh, this is a great way to get easy details without having to paint them freehand. Um, so I'm just cutting out the transfers I want to apply and then I'm going to start soaking them in some water. I like to add some decal softener to every decal I put on models. This just softens the decal up and makes it more flexible, makes it easier to apply to the model. So to apply the decal to the model, I'm just wetting the area that it's going to go. And I'm a bit lazy here, I should really use tweezers or I should use another method where I just pick it up with my finger and I just put it straight onto where I want. Now to move this round on the model, I'm going to add some more water out of it and as you can see, it's easy to move around and you can position it exactly where you want. So once it's positioned, you just dab off the water and let it dry and it'll adhere fine. So we're going to attach the top half to the bottom half now with some super glue. I'm using super glue because there's paint on the plastic, so plastic glue won't be very effective. And then I'm going to go ahead and give it a coat of matte varnish from Vallejo. This is going over the whole model and especially the decals. This will matte them right down and it will blend them in to the model quite nicely. Here's a look at the finished model. I'm quite happy with how it came out. I painted it to match the rest of the Skatari force. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, Please leave a like, it helps the channel out a lot, and uh, maybe even a subscription. So, I'd just like to thank you for watching.